The COVID-19 outbreak is prompting more patients in India to turn to online consultations. Telemedicine, as it's known, was already increasingly being used to reach patients in those remote areas. And now doctors are saying that it's becoming more popular as people, they try to avoid picking up the virus. Rebecca Bundan with this report. This patient from a small town in North India is seeing a doctor 1,600 kilometers away in Mumbai over video chat. There are limited medical facilities and doctors in her area, and she's worried about a cough she has. The doctor's provided with the patient's temperature and symptoms. Her diagnosis is that it's a viral infection, but not COVID-19. This private hospital says it's seeing an increase in online consultations during the pandemic, not only for possible COVID-19 cases, but also from patients in need of any medical advice, including those finding it difficult to travel during the lockdown and people worried about picking up the virus. During the pandemic of COVID, uh, where actually the access to the hospitals, access to the doctors for a physical consultation is really difficult. Uh, the telemedicine is, has become a boon to our own patients as well as the patients from various areas. Offering medical services online, known as telemedicine, is still at a nascent stage, but in recent years it has started to gain some traction in India. The hospital says it's now doing some 3,000 telemedicine consultations a month. India, as you know, is a very big country. It's a very, very vast country. And most of the healthcare facilities are available in metropolitan cities or in large cities. Um, in rural areas or not so big cities, there are hardly any hospitals. Um, they are uh, not sp big specialty doctors. Medical experts say telemedicine can help to reduce the burden on India's healthcare system, which has limited resources in general and is currently overwhelmed by rising numbers of COVID-19 infections. It can also give the poor access to top doctors. Global consultancy McKinsey says that if telemedicine replaced 30 to 40 percent of in-person outpatient consultations in India, the country could save up to 10 billion dollars a year. But this would require concerted efforts to implement its use. The Indian government is in favour of telemedicine. In March, it released new guidelines to help regulate its practice. These specify which medicines can and cannot be prescribed based on an online consultation, for example. The guidelines are welcomed by industry players as online solutions come to the fore during the pandemic. Hyderabad-based healthcare platform Call Health has launched a 15-day monitoring package for people who are home quarantined because of COVID-19 exposure. It starts from less than $2 a day and includes daily online monitoring sessions with a nurse and a counselling session with a psychologist. But there are challenges when it comes to telemedicine, the company admits. Not everyone has a smartphone and internet connectivity can be unreliable. See, the first and foremost is um, awareness and acceptance are probably two issues, right? My belief is that India can address its deficit in the healthcare uh, capabilities only by leveraging technology because we are not going to be able to um, come up with more doctors and more nurses in a short time. Telemedicine can't completely replace in-person diagnosis, but it seems to be a solution that is clicking into place during the pandemic. Rebecca Bundan, CNA, Mumbai.